In this video, I'm going to show you how to retarget animations with one simple node. So let's dive in. For this video, I'm going to be using the Saskis model. As you can see, it's already rigged as the Manny skeleton. This is extremely important. Then we browse the asset onto the content browser and onto the skeletal mesh, we're going to right click, go to create and create an IK rig. Then we're going to open it. If you're using 5.4, 5.5 or 5.6, you should see this button at the top, auto create retarget chains which basically uses a Fortnite humanoid skeleton. That's why the name is important, because if it has different names like this, instead of clavicle, it's shoulder, then it's not going to detect that it's the clavicle. Then we can save, browse the asset on the content browser. And now for the IK rig, we're going to right click and create IK retargeter. Then we're going to open it. So first things first, on the details tab, you're going to change the source IK rig asset onto the mannequin Unreal Engine 5, and then the target IK rig asset it's going to be IKSM Sasuke the last. Now we're going to change the target mesh offset to 150 just to set them apart. Now go to the corner and click this running retarget, which is going to change to editing retarget pose. And here where you're basically going to want to change is the pose of the bones to be similar or 100% like the Manny pose. You could do it manually, but as you can see, it would take quite long. And it's quite tedious. So something that you can do, again, 5.4 and up, should be this auto align. As you can see, I just align all bones. And it's going to give you a pretty decent similar pose. Probably not 100% similar. So for instance, here the elbow, it's like a little bit on an angle. So you can just pick the lower arm and move it around 20 degrees. And the same for the left one, minus 20. And that's going to give you a pretty accurate result. Also, just to make sure that there's no bugs, all of the target change have to match with the source change. So the root with the root, the spine with spine, neck with neck, and so on and so on. Now let's open our content browser again. Let's go into the skeletal mesh, right click again, create, and we're gonna create an anim blueprint. I'm just gonna call it ABP Sasuke. I'm just gonna call it ABP test. Now let's open it. And here you're literally just gonna call one node, which is gonna be this one, retarget pose from mesh, and then connect the animation pose output into the result. Now select the retarget pose from mesh. Make sure that use attach parent is ticked. And on the IK retargeter asset, we're going to select the one that we created. Now we compile, save, and go back to the third person map. Now we open our content browser and find the character blueprint that you're going to be using. To be honest, I would recommend you just to go ahead, right click and create a child blueprint class of the third person or of your main character, which I'm going to call BP test. Let's go ahead and open it. Once here, we're going to select the mesh and then add a new component, which is also going to be another skeletal mesh. We can call it SM underscore Sasuke. Then with that mesh selected, we're going to go to the skeletal mesh asset and find the Sasuke skeletal mesh. Now for the anim class, we're going to change it to the ABP test. And as you can see, it's already working. Then with the mesh selected, we're going to go to the details tab and search for visibility. And you're going to go under optimization, advanced visibility based anim tick option. And you're going to choose always tick pose and refresh bones. And also you're going to go ahead and search for visible and mark it as false. Now compile, go back to the third person map onto the world settings. Remember to change the default pawn class to the BP test and hit play. And now, as you can see, the character is moving according to the animation that it's supposed to be playing with the Manny BP. Of course, like I said, it's not like a hundred percent precise probably, but it makes a pretty good work. And just with a few clicks basically. And that's it for today. Remember, if you need help with your own Unreal Engine project, check out my tutoring service. It's linked down in the description. Thank you for watching. See you soon.